And that's precisely why men are so weak these days. It's an epidemic, quite frankly. We're seeing a real erosion in the male physical form. Some of the younger chaps at my club don't even smoke. It's effeminate. When we're all bathing together, I look intently upon their pale, naked bodies and wonder if they might be batting for the other side. Oh, no. They buy into this nonsensical germ theory, Malarkey. Hand-washing is all the rage with the loose liberal youth these days. Oh, God, that damn Hungarian. You see, back in the Renaissance, men were men and didn't get sick. Disease wasn't even encountered until the 1800s or so. Modern men are feminizing. Something in the water? Quite the opposite. How so? Classical men shouldn't even be drinking water. Whiskey. 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 But do you think there's a solution? There is, my dear Pudding Bottom, there is. Of course, the medical establishment don't want you to hear about this. Ah, damn men of medicine. Might as well ask an infernal witch doctor from one of the colonies to fix my flaccid manhood. From my independent and exhaustive research into an ancient practice, I found a way to combat these ills of modern life. Before all these damned perfumed dandies took over telling us we can't thrash our wives for speaking, we can't thrash our our children for speaking. We can't even own slaves in order to thrash them. So what's the secret, old boy? Bloodletting. What's that then? Simply by the removal of much of the circulating blood volume, one can unlock the body's tremendous potential for self-healing. Really? I open my veins on a weekly basis and I enjoy rude health. Yes. You are also the eighth Viscount of Rogerington, though, born into tremendous wealth. Uh, I suppose so. I can't see how that's relevant. And how can we learn more about the wonderful healing properties of bloodletting and how you shouldn't believe in science? Why, from my book, The Wonderful Healing Properties of Bloodletting and Why You Shouldn't Believe in Science by Rupert Pucklechurch III. Hang on a dashed moment. You're not just going from one health and vigour Poddington cast to another, promoting a quack salve, positioning yourself as an expert because you stand to profit from it by raising your own profile and selling merchandise, are you? Oh, perish the thought. <laughs> 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 ah, fascinating. Well, that's me convinced. As soon as this wax cylinder's wrapped, I'll be requesting that you bleed me forthwith. I think it'll make me feel like a ruddy hero. You know what else makes me feel like a hero? The sponsor of today's episode. A new product from an up-and-coming independent German health, vigor, and vitality company called Bayer Pharmaceutical. And their wonderful new non-addictive elixir suitable for all ages, heroin. <laughs> 